Some of them are people who have come to my church. I should deny my children because you are writing something. The list is not long, sir. Make it 200, Mumu. Or death. The social media space has been on fire, agog, and completely divided. This is coming following allegations that the general overseer of Omega Fire Ministries, Apostle Johnson Suleiman, has been sleeping with multiple Nollywood actresses and other popular women in the entertainment industry. When I saw this clip, one man on C-list. One man, I was just laughing. I was calling, but who be this one? Who be this one? <laughs> yeah, this one day. <laughs> this one day. According to the notorious Instagram gossip accounts that released this bombshell, the Edo-based man of God reportedly has a special liking for sleeping with two women at the same time, and his romantic affair is some kind of ritual for growing his church. Without a doubt, the 51-year-old billionaire pastor is no stranger to these allegations. In the past, Canadian-based Nigerian singer Stephanie Otobo and famous actress Kosi Ojiako have called out the cleric over the same allegations. But the televangelist has always managed to clean up the mess and maintain his goodwill among his millions of followers. Unfortunately, this time around, Halima Abubakar, a veteran actress who claims to have enjoyed a long affair with Suleiman, has come out to tell her story. The actress, who is severely ill, claimed the man of God afflicted her with sickness spiritually after she got pregnant for him. But when she refused to delete it, she mysteriously lost the pregnancy and was bleeding for months before her stomach began to swell uncontrollably. Ever since, the actress who has since been missing from the latest Nollywood productions said she had not regained healthfulness. This is me. So, all I need to do when I want to make a video, I wear makeup. And, um, You can see my hair. This is. You can call if you want to see me properly. Also, dropping extra tea on Apostle Suleiman's sexual escapades, the notorious gossip account named about 30 actresses and influencers who have allegedly slept with the man of God. After this report went viral, Apostle Suleiman, who members of the violence headquarters were dragging, immediately reacted. While preaching during a crusade on Wednesday, July 27, 2021, the 51 year old cleric attacked the faceless blogger behind the allegations and the trolls who dragged him, calling them unprintable names. The man of God also dared the faceless blogger to reveal their identity. If you get liver, show your face. You can't be hiding. You don't get mind. Look at me, I'm insulting you now, I show my face. If you get liver, show your face and drop your address. No, we can't meet you there. You know where. So they know they drag me. I go use your dragging. Get popular. If you want to fight me, make sure you have oxygen. Because me, nothing they shake me up. But of course, Apostle Suleiman is not the only one reacting. Celebrities mentioned in the scandal have also begun to react, with some of them going as far as engaging in a war of words with each other. Don't let nobody intimidate you in this life. If they give you, give them. Stop shaking. Hmm, what do they have to say in defense? Hello guys, it's t here for African Glitz. Georgina Enuoha If there is any name that shocked social media users in the shocking viral list, it's Georgina Onuoha. The actress who has since relocated to the US is known for her high moral upstanding, hence the shock. Interestingly, Georgina Onuoha, known for her wit, didn't let the masses run with that narrative of her. In her defense, the actress said Apostle Suleiman is a benefactor and he has helped many other entertainers like her. Her post on Instagram in some parts reads, For me, I will say thank you Pastor Suleiman for the help you gave me and the people you sent to help me navigate issues I needed to seek out in life. God bless you. If what I just wrote vexes you, please go and hug a transformer or use the third Milan bridge. I do not owe any apologies for the people I know or have associated with in life. Not every man or woman who comes into your life wants to bed you. That is why you prevent yourself matters a lot. Yabojo This Real Housewives of Lagos reality TV star is facing double allegations in this Apostle Suleiman scandal. After the notorious faceless blogger mentioned a name for having an affair with Apostle Suleiman, another actress, Steph Naya, dropped a bombshell about how Apostle Suleiman slept with her in Iyabo Ojo's house. Naya revealed how she met the man of God in Mombasa, Kenya, and he took her contact, after which they had several intimate moments. 
She claimed that Apostle flew her back to Nigeria to lodge at his girlfriend's place, which happened to be Iyabo Ojo's house. Shockingly, Iyabo Ojo, who just arrived in the UK, has refused to debunk or confirm the allegations. Instead, she shared a video of herself looking fly on her page and captioned it, Omologo 1 trillion, unbreakable, unshakable, immovable, oh yeah, give them, Iyabo you too set for all. For me, oh, till I hang your CEO. So many, many talking is so good, so. When everything nice, gone, bad, so. Shan George. This one and only Shakara Grandma is not taking the allegations lightly. On her Instagram page, the veteran actress shared a photo of Apostle Suleiman and praised him for being the most straightforward and kindest person she knows. She wrote, One of the kindest and straightforward persons I know is Apostle Johnson Suleiman. Just like in his numerous sermons, he says it's blunt as it is and that's something I respect in people. Not everything is about intimacy. As for Gist Lover, he's one person I've never met but have a lot of respect for as well. Because he speaks for the downtrodden and don't care if bullets hit him. Me, I know fit deny my people where I respect. But I never at any time dated the apostle. I be water, I no get enemy. Hashtag positive vibes only. Hashtag one love. However, Halima Abubakar, who reportedly introduced Shan George to the adobe-based Bologna pastor, is having none of it. Under a comment, Alima called the veteran thespian a hypocrite and gossip while threatening to spill her secrets if she didn't tread carefully with defending Suleiman. Queen Uwonkoye This veteran actress, whose name was surprisingly also mentioned in this ongoing scandal, was one of the first to come out to clear her name. Via an Instagram page, she addressed the issue and stated in the caption that she would not apologize for knowing Apostle Suleiman because he is a good man. Queen Uwankoye said, Good morning everyone. So I woke up to my name plastered all over social media and I am surprised. A clear conscience they say fears no accusation. But my dear, when my reputation is at stake, I need to speak up. When you are in the public eye and you are being accused of something, especially something you didn't do, you are always advised not to talk, to ignore, and trust me, that is what a lot of people count on, to write nonsense. They count on you not speaking up, because when you speak up, you are being bullied. Oh, close your mouth, you did it, I heard they have come out to debunk. Anyway, I am not one to be bullied when it comes to something I didn't do. Most times I see things written about me and I don't talk. I don't bother. But you see this one, I will not keep quiet. I will not because I have a right to what I want my name to be associated with. And this clearly is not one of it. Everybody makes mistakes. I am not a saint. I have made my own share of mistakes. But you see one mistake I will never make, sleeping with a man of God. God will judge me. Posterity will judge me. It is something I have never even thought of doing. And I will not keep quiet for you to use me to accuse someone or to make someone look bad, especially when I know what you're saying is not true. My conscience will not allow me to do it. And God will not forgive me if I don't speak up. Accusing someone of doing something the person didn't do hurts. It's not funny. I have never slept with any man of God. I would never sleep with any man of God. My conscience will not even allow me to do it. Kosi Oijako. This actress once dragged Apostle Suleiman for not paying her after introducing some Nollywood actresses to him has also reacted. This time, not in response to her own involvement but about Alima Abubakar accusing the man of God of inflicting her with sickness spiritually. In a post on Instagram, Kozi warned Alima to seek medical attention instead of accusing someone of being behind an infection she must have contracted from sleeping with men without protection. The actress, known for her massive bosom, added that if Apostle Suleiman were indeed behind her problems and had that much power, it would also have shut Alima up from speaking about it. Her post read in part, 
Instead of treating infection where they make your tummy swell, you won't follow belong. <laughs> Things that happened in the past is just in the past. Mama Snake moves on. It be like say Snake Girl no remember say we were friends like two years. She sabi knack where we without raincoats. As money no they enter, you won't come hang your yama yama expired stuff for person's neck. You know say you no follow for waiting day. Why you won't put your head inside? Imagine say you get that kind of power to do you that kind of thing. In fact, if you don't use remote control, shut up your mouth. The ongoing Apostle Suleiman scandal has given rise to a debunking saga so far. Unsurprisingly, not one of the celebrity women linked to the man of God has confirmed the allegations of sleeping with him. However, this has not stopped some of their colleagues from shading them. Nollywood actress Chioma Ife Melu Dike, who confessed to sleeping with Apostle Suleiman in October 2021, has urged them to allow the general public to decide who is a good man or not. I, I have a confession. You know, it was an awkward situation, but I was asked to join him in the room, and when he got into the room, we had sex. And then after the sex, he slipped his number in my hand. She wrote, Please debunk that SHIT in peace, but allow us to decide who is a good man and who is an unrepentant pastor under Scottitude. God cannot be mocked. Yol Edoche, who was recently a victim of the notorious blogger, has urged the general public to drag anyone on the list. His post reads in part, Okay. You don't reach on a turn to collect, now come they say this lover they carry on verify news. When I say waiting concern this lover inside people matter, when I say Nigerians are quick to insult people without verifying story, but when I follow they drag me since on top my own matter when no concern on matter when I no verify the cause. Na la yo, no be now we go end do. everybody go collect wotu wotu. Anybody where they mention for apostle matter make una drag and where where, since we all want to be mad in this country. Hmm, what a dramatic time. Tell us guys, what do you think about the ongoing allegations against Apostle Suleiman? Do you think he's guilty or innocent? Also, what do you think about the actresses debunking the allegations, saying the man of God is a good man and their benefactor? I've told myself, nobody will bring me down. I won't let you. I'm on an assignment. If you want to stop me, go and meet God. Only God can stop me. Now I don't Share your opinion in the comment section down below. If you found this video informative, please comment, like and share. Also, don't forget to subscribe for more well-researched African stories and news we know you'd like. Click on the bell sign to be notified every time you upload a new video so that you don't miss out. Thanks for watching and see you on our next one.